Okay, I'm going to move you on because I want to talk about um, Manchester United for a minute. Old Trafford last night. Cristiano Ronaldo scored his 18th Premier League goal, um, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, really. Mm. What, 37 years of age. And still has his critics this season that say that Manchester United are in a worse place by signing him. Um, let's talk about Eric Ten Hag coming into Manchester United. It was actually Ralph Randick that was saying there's going to be a lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of players that are leaving this summer. Mm. He'll still be involved, even though he's got the job at um, Austria as their team coach. Mm -hmm. He'll still be involved in a consultancy basis. How important do you think it's for Manchester United to try and keep hold of Cristiano Ronaldo? Um, oh, listen, like, he's, a, he's a legend, isn't he? Um, the thing about Cristiano Ronaldo, if, if it's going to affect the dynamics of the future, then you might have to let him go. Because, he, listen, he's 37, as you just said, but mm. how can you... Then you're in a... It's, it's, it's weird because... It's a tough situation. Because he is going to get you goals. Yeah. But who are you building the team around? Do you know what I mean? Mm. F for the future, if you're going to say, I'm coming in, I'm Ten Hag, I'm coming in, I've got to look at a five, six-year plan, it, is Ronaldo a part of that? Do you know what I mean? So it's it, it's up to him to kind of use Ronaldo, but at a... A, a kind of a capacity where he's not the main man kind of thing it's, and Ronaldo's got to buy into that as well that, I think that's the thing you know, that I think it's, it's a, a balance it's, of that yeah it's, it's difficult because if Ten Hag comes in and he's got his, his ideas of he wants to bring in a younger striker maybe yeah. maybe to learn off Ronaldo yeah I don't think Ronaldo's at that stage where he wants to be that guy. Yeah, of course he'll help the youngsters, but he still wants to be the main yeah, man. Yeah, he, 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 he moans when he comes off the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. He's so still moaning. He's 37. Can you build a team around a 37-year-old? I don't think you can. But at the same time, as you said there, he, he, he could get 20 Premier League goals this season. Yeah, I know. So how, how do, you, do you just let that walk out you the can't door? Walk, you can't let it walk out the door. <laughs> <You> can't, <laughs> it's, it's impossible. Like that. You can't do that. So you've got to try it and balance it with... Um, like you gotta kind of say, listen. You gotta have a conversation. If you're coming in, you gotta say to Ronaldo, say, listen, I I, I need you, <laughs> but you're not my future, kind of thing. Is and, he gonna, how can you? I don't know how, how that conversation <laughs> goes. At the age of thirty-seven, is he gonna want to? Because he can still do it. Obviously, we've seen this mm. season; he can still do it. Is he not gonna want to play in, in a in a club that's got Champions League football next season? Oh, that's another one, isn't but, it? But where? I mean, you start looking around. Where? Yeah. PSG. That's the link. I mean, again, do PSG want to, what, Messi, Neymar, Messi Ronaldo? On his way off? I don't know. I mean, of course he's going to, that, I mean, that's his competition. He scored more goals mm. in that, the Champions League than anybody. Um, so he'd want to play in that competition. But it's just, where does he go? Who, who would take a chance on him? Would he go back to taking a chance. He's not taking a chance, <laughs> Ben. He's not taking a chance. No, but, it? it's not, but it's also as well, they, if Pochettino leaves PSG and they get a new manager in and they want to start building, again, you're in the same scenario. Yeah. Do I get a 37-year-old in who we know can score goals and build the team around him? I, if I'm, I'm, I hope Ronaldo stays because I think he's, he's scored that many goals this season. I think he can still do it in the Premier League. He's quite clearly seen it in a poor United team mm. that don't really create that many chances, but yet he's the one who's... Yeah, he's the one that's been saving them. Exactly. So, Are you, are you saying that you don't think some of the biggest clubs in the world would be interested in him anymore because he's now 37? Well, say Real Madrid, for instance. Yeah. I don't think they're bringing back... Look at Ben Zimmer. Ben Zimmer's flourished since Ronaldo left. So do you bring Ronaldo back and then Benzema go? Well, he's 37, 36. Benzema. I, I think he's a bit younger than that. But 35 then. Exactly. So then do you have two 37, 35 years? 34? Mate, I don't know. I'm going from 37 to 34. He's 34, isn't he? He's 34. So he's over the hill as well. Exactly. But in I mean, football terms. In, in football terms, yeah. But then yeah, again, but, but he's that, flying. That's the thing. These guys are 37 and 34 and they're banging in the do goals we, do we have to increase the, the hill? Do we have to increase the average age of uh, oh, retirement? Yeah, of absolutely. Yes, so where are we going? To 45 now? Hey, let's get our boots back on, Benny. Do you still do it, Benny, in the Premier League? No, no, no. The way, the way that these guys are built no. nowadays, the way that they no. move, the speed. Mate, I've seen you walk. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.